So today I've got an odd mage with an elemental core. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking odd mage is a pretty standard deck. But I assure you I've got something spicy. I'm playing two copies of Deck of Wonders. And this is not a meme. Not entirely a meme at least. I guess Deck of Wonders itself is inherently a meme. But I actually do think at least one copy of Deck of Wonders is optimal in this deck. So the reason Deck of Wonders is good is because you really want to be playing Dragon's Fury. But when you look at all the big odd spells, all you have is Dragon's Fury and Flame Strike. Unless you're not a coward, and if you're not a coward you can also play Deck of Wonders. So this is good because it adds consistency to your Dragon's Fury. It also adds consistency to your Arcane Tyrants, which are very strong in this deck when you have six activators. And the Deck of Wonders also allows us to play two copies of Arcane Artificer, which I think is pretty good in this deck, because outside of the Jaina, we don't really have room for any other healing. So the Artificers are pretty good, and we have six spells to support them since we're playing the Deck of Wonders. And let's not forget that in the games where you don't have Dragon's Fury, Arcane Tyrant, or Arcane Artificer, Sometimes the Deck of Wonders on its own just pulls through and wins you the game. It can definitely happen. And yes, I have lost the game to Cataclysm while playing this deck, but it only happened once, and despite that Cataclysm, I still have a 74% win rate right now. So Deck of Wonders new meta, confirmed. Outside of the Deck of Wonders though, I think this list is pretty typical. Like I said, we've got the Elemental Package. Um, I don't think the Elemental Package is really even a choice in this deck. When you start scrolling through all the odd cards, it becomes apparent pretty quickly that some of the best cards you're offered are like the Fireflies and the Tar Creepers. Uh, the new Bonfire Elemental's so good. Arcane Tyrant obviously makes a lot of sense in this deck. And then because you're playing Jaina, Baron Geddon's great, Blaze Caller's great. So I think Odd Mage is just an elemental deck. I don't think there's really too much discussion about that. We do lose out on Polymorph, but we get to replace it with Voodoo Doll. Probably a slightly worse card. But it is cheaper if you're planning to ping, it's still an activator for the Frostlet Jaina, it's still hard removal for big guys, it's a little bit worse against Voidwalker, or against Void Lord though. And then obviously we're playing the two cats, I think Acolyte of Pain is pretty good in this deck as a replacement for Arcane Intellect. It is a little bit weird with your 2 damage hero power, not as good as dealing 1 damage to it, but you can still do that or you can also just play Acolyte of Pain on turn 3, it beats up on some silver hand recruits and you draw some cards. So currently I'm pretty set on 27 of these cards, but this Glacial Shard, the Iron Beak Owl, and the Stonehill Defender, I'm still considering all of those. The Iron Beak Owl, I just figured, hey, a silence is nice, and it's got one health, so even if I don't find a good silence target, I can turn it into a water elemental. Kind of a similar argument for the Glacial Shard, I just also wanted another one drop. I had a Mana Worm in this slot at one point, Obviously there's not too much spell synergy with the Worm, but it's still a 1-mana one 1-3, one pretty good against Paladin. Beats up on those recruits, pops some bubbles. And you know, sometimes you're on the coin and it's a 1-mana two 2-3, that's pretty sick. But trying out the Glacial Shard for now. And then in the last slot I've got a Stonehill Defender. I mean, it's a pretty good 3-mana card. It's another taunt to go along with the Tar Creeper. Just couldn't really think of much else to go in its place. I think the deck is looking pretty good overall though. So let's go throw some scrolls at some noobs. Jaina versus Jaina. Mage. I think there's actually a pretty good chance that this is the mirror. Is my deck good in the mirror compared to a typical odd mage? I've got Deck of Wonders, so that's 10 extra removal spells. Probably pretty good in the matchup. Wow, he's just Secret Mage. Tempo Mage or whatever. I guess he could just be straight up Big Spell Mage. He doesn't have to be odd Big Spell Mage. An incredible discovery. Okay, well, Fire Blast Rank 2 deals with that quite cleanly. Man, Steady Shotting Minions is OP. Wow, nice one damage. Easy cat. Man, if I can pick up a Deck of Wonders or a Dragon's Fury for turn 5, it's about to be hot. Wow, 
Why did this guy coin Archaeologist into nothing? I think I keep the Freezy guy. But I want to play this to activate the Bonfire Elemental for next turn. Seems like a cat hero power turn. It does break my elemental chain. Next turn I could just go 4-4 four, four plus a glacial shard. I think I like the cat. I want to try to find Jaina. The deck of wonders is really good for next turn. Double arcane tyrant plus a glacial shard. But yeah, I just wanted to kill the sorcerer's apprentice. I felt like... Uh, I really just don't want to take damage in this matchup, because I don't play that much healing outside of Jaina. Well, there's some of it. I guess I try to gain some armor here. Cool. I mean, I don't love that my guy got exploded, but it's a hell of a lot better than Counterspell. I actually don't know how Arcane Tire interacts with Counterspell. If these were still zero, if it got Counterspelled, then Counterspell was better than, uh... Better than the explosive runes, but it doesn't really matter. I got my two four fours in play. He's popping off, he's getting flame struck, he's gonna concede. That's pretty sick value though. Amazing. Damn, that's sick. Two man to deal two damage. Wait, what just happened? Wow, the diamond spellstone. Sick. Well, give me that seven armor. Battle form OP. Do I want a turn one Artificer against Paladin? I'm on the coin. So if I can mulligan into double three drop, that's also pretty good. Plus, obviously, hitting Fireflies would be nice. This is not a great hand. Don't really want to see this ever. Don't want to see this in the opener. But I guess the Tar Creeper and the Dragon's Fury are both good. The odd v odd matchup. I think Odd Paladin should be easier for me than Even Paladin. Seems like they have less sustain going through the game. Reporting for duty. Could coin out a hero power here, but it doesn't really seem worth it. I don't know, maybe this one has more sustain actually. I guess this hero power just naturally scales better into the late game. Plus they can have like Vine Cleaver and stuff. They don't have any of the power fours. They can't have like Tyrion or anything. I'm just gonna hero power here. I could have coined out the Tar Creeper, but then I'm probably just hero powering next turn anyway. That doesn't seem too appealing. I guess I should probably Owl the 4-1. Seems pretty bad to let a 4-1 Divine Shield go into a Tar Creeper. The Owl is probably not that good in this matchup. I guess it's good against Tarim. No, no Tarim. Level up. But it just ensures that the Divine Shield's gone for next turn. And I can go Coin, Dragon's Fury, Arcane Tyrant. Not sure if that'll be the play, but it is a pretty significant board swing. It looks like he's probably going to trade off a 1-1 one, one and have 7 dudes on the board here. So killing 7 dudes, that definitely seems nice. And I'm getting pretty close to just dying if I don't, so... I don't think there's much of a decision here. For 
I can't believe people play Tark or uh, Corridor Creeper again. Crazy. So I can go Tar Creeper, Hero Power, this guy, trade. I won't take any damage this turn, but I do kind of like playing the Bonfire Elemental. Try to draw into another AoE or Jaina. Or I can even hit like the second Tar Creeper or a Stonehill Defender or something for next turn to go along with this Tar Creeper. So I think I like the Bonfire Elemental. I'm going to eat three damage here. But I think it's okay. I'm still at 12, and it's not like his deck is running Wolf Riders and shit. Actually, it could be. I wouldn't expect it to be running Wolf Riders, though. Well, these plays, or these attacks, seem pretty obvious. And then I guess I'll just go double three, right? Not really much of a reason to hero power here. I can't ever die to, like, Owl plus four mana, can I? Actually, I guess I'm dead to Owl. I've seen one Blessing of Might, actually. So it would have to be, like, Owl, second Blessing, second Abusive, second Acherus Veteran. That's pretty specific. Or I guess, like... Wolf Rider. Yeah, Wolf Rider play could do it too. This is getting to be a lot of stuff. Probably have to Flame Strike here. See what I can pick up off of this. Stonehill Defender's nice. Can I double bump and then go Stonehill plus Cat here? This thing clears out the Stonehill. I wouldn't be dead to level up. By Flame Strike, I get to push 9. That's him to 18. I'm showing 12 next turn. I don't think I like Flame Striking this. Ooh. This thing could be so good here. Hell yeah. Bell Soul Inquisitor was the nuts. Yeah, hover over that shit. You've never seen this card before. Behold the might of Stormwind. Reporting for duty. Boom. Yield for one. Reporting for duty. Boom. Yield for one. That was two healing that turn. Ridiculous. Why don't I just main deck the Fell Soul Inquisitor? Alright, so I probably do want a Flame Strike here, but it's unfortunately not super clean to kill this guy. I can send both of these into it, but then I have to trade off my Taunt, which I don't love. Sending it 4 1 in to do 2 damage doesn't seem that appealing. I guess I do like having the Taunt in play, though. And it's not like getting the three extra face damage here set up lethal or anything. Or did it? Wow, that actually did set up lethal. Am I dumb? Or no, it was only two extra damage because Stonehill and Acolyte both died. So he'd be at 17 and I'd be showing 17 next turn. Well, shit. But I could have also died here. Would have been dead to Leroy. Don't know if that deck would be playing Leroy. Well, let's draw a card here. Man, I played around Leroy last turn, but I'm still dead to it here. That's kind of a bummer. Well, luckily he drew his 9 mana 7 8, just like I did. So that's good for me. Is he dead because of it? Acolyte goes in here. I have 14 in play, 0 in hand, unfortunately. But this does seem like a good start to the turn. Picked up a second Artificer. That's really good. That's so good. 
Check out this hot armor gain. Reality woven. I get to slam this guy even. I honestly didn't really think about these trades enough. And hit these two in here. Hero power, value trade, I have a 6-4. I right, go 6-6 six, six in. Hero power, trade. I have a 5-1 instead of a 6-4, but I get to hit him in the head. I don't need to hit him in the head. I can't lose from here. He can kill one of my artificers at best. Getting five more out of this other deck of wonders next turn. So I've got 14 damage here. Let's just play some of these kinds of things, I guess. Bloodlust, easy. Hope Shadow Repain, my guy. Let's just clear him. I could definitely be pushing damage on some of these turns, but I don't know, man. It just feels better to kill all of his stuff. Really makes it feel like he's suffering. Reporting Is there a Consecration coming out or something? Maybe a Sunkeeper Tarim? Level up. Sure. That level up's actually quite strong. But I just go bump, 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 hero power. Play a black cat. What to do? What could also to do? like voodoo doll one of these, but that doesn't seem that productive. I could Geddon, but Geddon doesn't seem great. I don't know, Geddon lets me keep a 6 1 in play. Let's me keep a 6 1 and a 4 1 in play. What to do? Maybe Geddon's pretty good here. I go down to 13, this hits me to 9. I could, in theory, die to like Leroy Wolfrider. Do I have any plays that just never die to anything? Let's trade off my stuff and then play Black Cat so I don't get screwed by a scroll. Oh shit, I'm not gonna get the other one two down. Oh well. That was a pretty good hit. Oh, that's just lethal, though. I probably dragged that out a lot longer than I needed to, but I felt like I played it as safe as I could, and I felt like I was in a good enough position that I could afford to play safe. So I think I went for a higher percentage play, even if it seemed unnecessary. 